السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ونحن في the previous clip we did letters of the moon so now we call them we call them حروف القمرية now we are doing now حروف شمسية alright so now these are the letters of the sun all right, meaning now is the remaining letters of the uh, alphabet of the uh, Arabic language. So now we start now uh, by explaining again now how to read when you see now these special uh, characters again. On a previous uh, lesson of, of, of Qamariya, we were using a sukun where we pause and then where we pronounce the lamb but now here because now we are doing shamsia uh, letters we are not going to pronounce the l we're not going to sound the lamb we will just uh, go to the uh, shada there as you see and one thing also i want you to note now the ones from a previous lesson when we said now alif is as a, a, a letter of a mud that elongates a sound so now also you will notice now in some writings you will not find now any uh, thing like this on top of the word so now meaning now by seeing the extension of alif automatically you will know it's a sound same as with um with seen so now it's seen so now you will not see any kasra yeah sometimes you will see kasra or you will just see now uh, the ya that ya means now you must say e right but how do we read now here so now we'll do the reading ata u Atau shamsiyatu. Atau shamsiyatu. Adalu shamsiyatu. Adalu shamsiyatu. Arau shamsiyatu. Atzayu shamsiyatu. Asinu shamsiyatu. All right. So now this is the first group of the letters of the sun. Now we'll be moving over to the rest of the letters on the other side of the board. Okay. These are the rest of the letters of um, shamsiya. All right. So now, this is the shin and the sad and the bad and the ba, the lamb and noon. All right. So now, again, I did a little bit of another introduction of what you will be seeing or how to read. All right. Here, I use now a definite noun. Okay. Meaning now, if you see this first, before we move over to that side. So now. If you, you see that I'll, we are not, we will only pronounce it the lamb in the beginning of the sentence or in the beginning of the sentence we will say ah, all right, because now, we, sorry, the alif, not the lamb, the alif, we'll only pronounce the alif here because it's the beginning of the, of the, uh, of, of the, of the sentence. But now when we move on, we are not going to pronounce this one. Atau shamsiya. To read now, you will read all together. More like you are putting this to that. You are putting the one word to another word, and then you carry over your reading. But now, this side of the board, I did not use now the lamb on the shamsiya. I did not also use the the alif. On the shamsia, I use now shamsia as indefinite 
So now if it's indefinite, it will end now in a tanwin. Although on the other side it was, it was not ending in a tanwin because now if it has the alif, it ends on the normal vowel sign. It will end on the normal drama. So now you say uh, shamsia, shamsia tu. But now on this side, shamsia tun because it is not a definite now. So now shin. Ah, she no shamsia tun. Ah, sa do shamsia tun. Ah, twa do shamsia tun. Ah, twa u shamsia tun. Ah, twa u shamsia tun. Alamu shamsia tun. A nunu shamsiyatu. All right. Also with a noon, like I just indicated before, that sometimes you will not see the fat ha. It means now if you see extra la, extra alif, it's a a. On the other case of a, of a kasra, if you will not see the e, but you see the ya, it means it's e sound. Right. But now here in the case of a drama. Sometimes you will not see a drama sign, but now you will see a wow. So now it means now you must pronounce it as an oo. So a no no because there's a wow there. It indicates now you must put oo sound. A no no shamsiyatu. Alright. Uh that will be the rest of the lessons about everything that we can cover at the moment. Uh, from the beginning of all the lessons so now this is where we will end for now inshallah but this is not uh, the rest of the arabic language this is not the rest of the of the lessons that one needs to take all right so now we said now the, the main objectives of the lesson was to be able to recognize the letters uh, when they are standing in isolation and when they are put in cursive so now we are able to see inshallah like how to read and how to recognize each one from one another and how to apply the rules of, of, of reading the arabic language and then inshallah now when you are already um enrolled in in your ba of your choice now you will be able to read the the text that will be given to you inshallah and in the lessons now you will be able to uh understand what is 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 being written and although now this was not about the grammar now you will be learning the grammar and the application of uh, all the uh, rules of the grammar and the meanings of the words as we go along inshallah in your in your bachelor's degree of your choice um, i hope this was helpful uh, inshallah and i hope that we will have time to practice and to to go over the lessons and and to try to understand more and more of of this language as this is totally new or it may be totally new to, to some of, of you but now it's it's doable uh, we come most of us come from a background where we never we have never seen uh, such a language but now we, we put time we, we practice so we become better by practice so i hope that will be enough inshallah jazakallah to everyone Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.